It's the 2K Sports Pregame Show. Hey everybody, Ernie Johnson here with Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. We're wrapping up the NBA regular season in style here on 2K Sports. And coming right up, we'll see this home squad playing against Houston. And for Houston, with a win here today, they'll stake a claim to the second best record in the NBA. That tells you all you need to know about the year they're having. Welcome everybody to another presentation of the NBA Live on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony and two Hall of Famers, Doris Burke here at the table and on the sideline, David Aldridge. Looking at the last game for the Houston Rockets, it was a win against Denver. And only a single point of separation there. Great game. It came right down to the wire. And, and once they established that flow offensively, really never got any resistance from the D. I think, Greg, you can't expect to win with that kind of effort. The defense was nowhere to be found, and it cost them all night long. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's check out who's on the floor, courtesy of Gatorade. So on the floor for Houston. The engine of this team, Paul and Harden in the backcourt. Chandler Parsons out there with Luke and Baamute. And it's Capella in at the center position. Here's Paul. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. Yeah, good awareness there. He sees an opening and doesn't hesitate. And that's not the type of defense you want to play, right? You've got to make it more difficult than that. Layups are too easy. That one, no good. Good work defensively by Harden. Passes it to Mbamute. Back to Harden. A little over a minute gone here in the first quarter. Fires for three. O'Neal with the rebound. Iverson with the ball. Here's Chi. It's good. And he makes his first shot of the game. I'll tell you, it takes fantastic vision and flawless timing to produce an assist like that. Harden kicks to Parsons. Pass to Paul. Over Iverson. And the shot is good, dropping in off the front of the rim. Paul's got his second bucket of the night. Uh, Parsons known for his scoring, but he is a big-time passer as well. Here's Chi, and two shots coming up at the line as he gets fouled on the shot. And there's the foul against Houston. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the night right now. The free throw drops for Chi. Both good from the line that time. And about two minutes played here in the first quarter. The pass to Mbamute. And the dunk by Mbamute. And the future Hall of Famer loves to dish the rock. Paul has a pass-first mentality. He makes everyone around him better. That drive by Carter. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. It's going to be on James Harden. That free throw, no good. Yeah, Carter just a freak of nature. One of the best dunkers the game has ever seen. A, a top-tier shooting guard who just embraces the spotlight. Now here's Paul. First quarter of ball, almost two and a half minutes in. And Harden gets it to go in on the assist by Paul. Paul's got three assists tonight. And good passing, setting up a lot of these buckets right now, Kevin. That's been the key. Yeah, you, you can sense he wasn't happy with how things are going here. Probably looking to change it up a bit. Yeah, no, not at all. It's a good call, Greg. They need a fresh new approach here. Harden's gone 50% from the arc, one of two. Paul against Iverson. Pass to Chi. Stolen by Harden. And here comes Parsons leading the fast break. It's hauled in by Thornwell. Iverson against Paul, and Iverson gets it to go. Wow, what a crafty player. Gets it done any way he has to. 
And so it's Harden bringing it up for Houston. It's a five-point game. The feed to Paul. Over Iverson. Off target on the 15-footer. You, you almost have to assume he's going to knock those down when he is that open. And he gets the bucket. And they've scored several times already here in the first quarter on the inside. Now here's Paul. Pass to Harden. Beyond the arc. The Rockets again can't hit. And you don't want to give up that kind of look too often. She And he jams it with authority. And guys, he's not an easy man to stop when he's got the rim in his sights. Never has been, never will be. He is a determined finisher. Here's Paul. Harden outside. Lob pass to Capella. And the dunk by Capella. And Harden is more than just a score. He's also got some sensational handles and passing instincts. Loves connecting with his teammates. And that was an Unleashed Chaos moment indeed. What a spectacular play. Sponsored by Under Armour Hover Habit. Oof, this guy is a beast on the board. And when he gets those second chance points, G.A., he does mm. not waste one of them. He's so very quick to convert off the miss and usually with authority. Now, here is Harden. He kicks it to Parsons. Down to five on the shot clock. To the middle. Nice touch on the shot from close range. Six points for Clint Capella. And those are the kind of nice inside looks they've gotten here in the first half. Pass to Thornwell. It's Vince Carter on the wing. And the shot falls short this time. Now kicking himself on that one. That is the shot he wanted. Well, that's usually money in the bank for that guy. I'm not sure how he missed that one. Now here's Paul. Parsons on the wing. From 20 feet out. And Houston again with the bucket. Well, that's just really nice patience by Parsons, letting the play develop in the pick and roll. The pass to Chi to the right side. Pass to O'Neal. Out to Carter. Launches a three. Buries the long-range jumper. Carter's got himself going there. His first points of the game on the deep ball. And time Houston out, calls out. their first time out of the game. Teams changing it up here. Paul outside. Kicks it to Black. The Rockets again can't hit. Carter, the pass to Lynn over Paul. That one off the back iron and out. Yeah, bad shot there. Trust is lacking. You, you got to be willing to make the extra pass. I'm not sure why he doesn't continue to move the basketball. Would have served that team much better. Now here's Gordon. No good from outside. Carter outside. Dishes it to Green. To the left wing. Three-pointer. Black grabs the board. And right from the start, Kevin, they've been pounding the glass. Most of those 50-50 balls also going their way. Good on the bucket. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. And so here's the home team. Trailing by four. Right side green over Gordon. And it's good off the back of the rim and in. Green's got his first bucket of the night. And very little defense here to start the game. Boy, both teams rolling right now on the offensive end. We got a little barn burner cooking. Well, I think the defense took that possession off. I'm pretty sure he won't miss next time. Get it back, get it back. Hey, get it back. Offline from the top of the key. 
141 left in the first quarter. Houston moving it around. It's Black, top of the key. Here is Caspi, defended by Carter. Just five on the clock. Lynn against Paul. Carter with the block. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. Paul's gone two for six from the floor so far. Now here's Lynn. He's guarded closely. That evens the score. Well, you have to love the focus. Jeremy Lynn creating well for himself down low. Makes that one look easy. Gordon with it. Now Green defending. Ball's knocked loose. And here we go. Fast break. Lynn's got it. And there's Green on the assist by Lynn. Green's got his second bucket of the night. And the defense to start that play was terrific. I love the fact that they attacked early in the shot clock. Paul finds Gordon. To the middle. Here's Black. He's now one for two with that bucket. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. Lynn looking it over. Giles the pass to Lynn. Carter for three. It's rebounded by Houston. Well, there's no consistency from the field in this quarter. We'll see if he can get his shot going. Just two seconds between shot clock and game clock. Gordon against Green. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Paul. Some solid defense there from Lynn. Well, look at how well the defense does to cut his path to the basket. Comes up empty on what might have been an easy play. All right, there's the horn. It's a close game at the end of one. We'll take a quick break, then get you back to the action. And getting going again here in the second quarter. Fairly close game so far. And guys, what's your take on the home team so far? Through that first one, uh, they've turned this thing into a track beat. I'll tell you, they've simply been more assertive in the open floor. They're leaking out early, converting with confidence. They've got Carter. Jeremy Lin is out there with Green. Then it's Aaron Baines. And it's Giles in at the four spot. Well, we know this. Jeremy Lin knows how to run an offense. His ability to find the open man uncanny. Come for the Rockets. Paul and Gordon are the backcourt pair. E.J. Tucker is out there with Caspi. Then it's Nene in at the center. Outside Gordon. Over in the corner, Paul to the inside. Here's Nene. And a great assist by Paul as that one goes in. Well, unfazed by the defense. Nene making his mark inside right now. We've got Aaron Baines. Green out there with Jeremy Lin. And there's Carter. And it's Giles in at the four. Outside, Lin. Carter on the wing. Drills it from outside. Carter's got five points in the quarter. You, you, how can you forget about him? I mean, he's not going to miss that open of a look. Rockets trail by three. Taking a look at the Rockets. Paul and Gordon are the backcourt pair. Nene is out there with P.J. Tucker. And it's Caspi in at the small forward position. They get it back. Nene, no good with the layup. Boy, the defense gets into his head and alters his release when he really doesn't have to. And Carter with the basket on the assist from Green. 11 points for Vince Carter. Well, I'll tell you, he's been a go-to guy for them as they've taken this lead, and he keeps coming. And we're now about a minute and a half into the second quarter. Outside, Lynn. Here's Carter. And some very quick points for him on that possession. Carter's got 13 points. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. Here's Paul. And misses it off the right side of the rim. 
Listen, that's a look he can hit, but right now he can't throw it in the ocean. Inside. The shot from the low post is good. Six points for him. Boy, what touch. You know, a lot of guys don't have the kind of feel necessary to make the floater. Here's Carter. That shot misses. And it's Houston the other way. To the paint. Here's Gordon. Off on the layup. Green deciding where to go with it. Hits the three-point bomb. All these open threes they're giving up have really been the driving force on this run. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Kept alive. Here's Nene. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. You like to see Nene still making an impact on the glass. So for the Rockets. Clint Capella, he's checked in for P.J. Tucker. Parsons comes in for Caspi. And it's James Harden in for Eric Gordon. Now about three minutes gone in the second quarter of basketball. Pass to O'Neal. It's hauled in by Clint Capella. Rockets trail by six. And here's Parsons. Outside for Nene. Paul outside. Six to shoot. Lob pass to Capella. Takes the alley-oop pass and dunks it down. Well, great vision by Nene, right? I mean, if you're the help defensive guy, you can't leave your man. He's that good a passer. Iverson passes to O'Neal. That's good. Great play set up by Iverson. Iverson's got three assists tonight. Worked that one inside nicely. Iverson against Paul. Back to Harden. Shoots over Lynn. Harden's shot is off. Now that's where they want to go with the ball. They can tolerate a few misses as long as he gets his touches inside. And that one, good. She's got eight. Yeah, I mean, he's been orchestrating all game at a high level. It's just so great to see ball movement like this, and he is excellent at getting his teammates involved. Now, here is Harden. Nobody near Parsons. Cans it from downtown. He's got five. That stroke is just so effortless from the deep ball. Parsons with an easy motion. Iverson dishes to O'Neal. Got it for his fourth field goal of the game on just five shots. Oh, my goodness. That is how to attack the rim. Don't give the defense time to react. That's beautiful. Harden kicks to Paul. From the baseline. Harden, no good. Harden's gone one for five from the field, 20%. The three from Iverson. That one falls. His second basket of the game. He's now two for three. Continuing to push the action and build this lead. You can tell they've got their foot on the gas pedal right now. No slowing down. The defense starting to look helpless. Now a timeout called by Houston. Wax checked in for Houston. And so it's Paul bringing it up for the Rockets. It's a 10-point game. Harden kicks to Paul. Cans the shot with nobody near him. Paul's got four points in the quarter. Yeah, what you like about Paul in the pick and roll, not just excellent timing with the pass, but the placement. It's always where it needs to be for the finish. And there's the basket. Whistle blows and a chance for a three-point play. Going to the line for one. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working it inside and getting good shots from close range. And Bahamute's checked in for Chandler Parsons. The free throw drops for Chi. Rockets trailed by 11. Ball outside. He dishes it to Harden. 
He kicks to Capella. Here's Black. Shot from 12. Rebounded by Chi. Now Iverson. Down low. Here's O'Neal. That's good. Great play set up by Iverson. Iverson's got five assists in the game. O'Neal's gone five of six in field goal attempts tonight. On the wing, Harden, defended by Lynn. Harden against Lynn. Hits it from three-point range. It doesn't matter how a defense plays him. Harden is going to make sure that that three-point shot is a primary weapon. Now here's Lynn. Pass to Chi. Solid play in the low block, and that one's good. Chi's got 13. Dead eye shooting from them this quarter. Rockets trail by 12. Harden surveying the D. It's hauled in by Thornwell. Boy, the way he's been going, he is not going to be the guy to turn this around. Here's O'Neal and the dunk by O'Neal. And Kevin, plays like that are really the reason they've got a nice lead right now. Just a great job on the glass. And Greg, the jam and the follow gets their whole bench <laughs> jumping. Look at them. They are really into it. The other bench deflated because that was a rough sequence for the defense. They hated to give up those points but did nothing to stop it. Now here's Harden. He's got six. Here is Mbamute. A three-pointer no good. And with the success they've had rebounding the basketball, they're right where you'd expect them to be, firmly in the driver's seat. Fires the three. Iverson gets the bucket. Eight points for him. I'll tell you, they're willing to give him that shot, and he takes advantage of it. Harden against Lynn. Now, here is Harden. He's covered closely. He's trying to make something happen, but obviously been a tough quarter. And the shot is good. Lynn's got his second basket. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. Harden against Lynn. Will not go. This is off the front iron. Down low. Here's O'Neal. Black grabs the board. Black's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. I tell you, get the feeling he's only going to get better as this game wears on. That first quarter was good. His second quarter has been great. Here's Iverson. Makes it off the glass. Iverson's got eight points here in this quarter. I, I love this approach. Despite the lead, still attacking, adding fuel to the fire. They are absolutely relentless right now, Greg. There's no end in sight. They are going for it. And so a pretty lopsided game for the first half. The home team, they lead by 18. And don't go away. After the break, we'll see you right back here for the start of the third quarter. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. After one half of play, it's been a one-sided affair. Hey, everybody, welcome back. This is Ernie Johnson alongside Shaquille O'Neal. And taking a look at this home squad, Kenny, what did you see from them? Well, it has been an electric performance. These guys were firing on all cylinders. They came out aggressive going after those rebounds, and they were piling it up. I think they wanted to send a message with their physicality, and they're going to be nearly impossible to stop if they're playing that way. And Shaq, let's get your input on the Rockets. Well, they struggle in a number of areas. Protecting the rim is really at the top of the list. They haven't made that a priority. They haven't put forth a whole lot of effort. You got to protect the rim. And that should do it. And as we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it has been a runaway. Look at Vince Carter in this game. I mean, he's been everywhere. And they haven't needed a lot of shots to get their points. Just tremendous efficiency here in the first half. I think you can look to specifically the patience and the shot creation. Really solid effort. O'Neal is out there with Chi. Then there's Carter. 
Then it's Iverson, and it's Thornwell in at the three side. That's the group starting the second half for Teron Liu. Now, here is O'Neal. It falls for his seventh bucket of the contest. He's seven for nine. Another bucket down low. They've been the aggressors taking the ball inside and attacking at the rim. Here's Parsons. Paul, right side, shoots from 12. It's hauled in by Thornwell. The edge on the glass is the difference. It's allowed them to build this lead. How many times have we seen a possession like that from them today? Ending with a basket, coming off a pretty pass. Now here's Paul. Oh, a nice defensive play to disrupt the alley-oop. And O'Neal gets it to go. O'Neal's got four this quarter. They wanted a fast start coming out of the break, and they are now three for three. Paul finds Harden. Houston moving it around. Here is Mbamute. They can't stop the run with that one. Guys, some great passing from them. Yeah, everybody's touching it, and you're starting to see the assists pile up because the rhythm is on display offensively. Now here's Iverson. They lead by the biggest margin of the game, 25. Score the bucket. He's made five so far, shooting a very clean five of seven. Great play calling, great execution. Leads to four for four to start this half. And so it's Paul bringing it up for Houston. They're scoreless since the first half. From deep, Harden knocks down the three ball. Harden's got nine. And that's what you give up when you don't fight over the screen. Right. The effort could have been so much better. You've got to be willing to fight through that screen. There's no question about it. Now here is Carter. The pass to O'Neal. Plays it up and banks it in. He's got 18. Yeah, they're going to have a nice little run here. Timeout called the Rockets. Doris, you think of all the highlight real plays we get to see up close. We're so lucky. We, we feel the same way every time we sit courtside and watch one of these games. One of the most enjoyable parts about it, seeing the reactions of the guys on the bench. They're just losing it, Kevin. They're falling <laughs> down and they're bumping into each other and then seeing the opposing bench trying to keep that poker face. They know they're not supposed to react, mm -hmm. but sometimes the play is just so good you can't help it. And we get out of our seats, don't we? I mean, I mean, just like the players do. We get out of our seats. Oh, no doubt. I'll stand up, wave my hands in the air. Are you kidding? <laughs> Here's Giles, and he throws it down hard with one hand and doing some dirty work on the offensive glass. And then follows it up, Greg, with heavy-duty jam on his mind with a terrific putback. Parsons for three. It's good. The assist that time from Harden. Harden's got four assists in the game. They have been really controlling this one. You never want to be complacent on the floor. That's when you lose momentum. Here's Carter. Scores the bucket. He's seven for 11 and continues to look good. Defensively, this is what you know. He's coming off a hot game and looking to keep it rolling. Well, you want to slow this man's roll right now if you're the defense because you've got to make somebody else beat you. He's cooking right now. They get the rebound. Green with the block. And he gets it back. Caspi for three and another three for Houston. And really, as the three-pointers keep dropping, you get the sense that the frustration is mounting for the defense. Pulls up. And there's Iverson. That's good on the assist by Carter. Iverson's got four points in the quarter. And really, the story of the half, one team shooting it lights out. The other, the lights are just out. Yeah, that's right. You said it. They don't find a way to switch it back on. They're in trouble. Now Iverson following the miss by Chandler Parsons from deep. And he gets it to go. Giles has got his second bucket tonight. Indicative of what we've seen tonight. One team being the aggressor, the other failing to react. Right. Really a disappointing effort on the defensive end. Not offering any challenge at all at the cup. Harden, no good. This could get even more out of hand if they continue to put up points. Wow, Kevin, what a performance we are seeing. Iverson against Harden. 17-foot shot on the way. That one falls. 16 points for Iverson. 
and just enough wiggle room to get off his shot. Oh, I'll tell you, that's good basketball. You have to time get out, a little out. creative against the big man, but I love his Guard. initiative. And Teron Liu wants a timeout. And if you're sensing a concern, best thing you can do is call timeout. Yeah, I don't think there's any doubt. You've got to get this game under control. I think he sees some adjustments he can make. Jeremy Lin, he's checked in for Iverson. And then for Houston, Tarek Black comes in for Nene. And it's P.J. Tucker in for Chandler Parsons. Carter outside. Fires the three. And the rebound goes to the Rockets. Black's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Caspi passes to Harden. And again, it's the Rockets from deep. I'll tell you, somebody fell asleep because the defense was not paying any attention to him. That's a huge blunder. Lynn kicks to Baines. And the rebound goes to the Rockets. In the corner, it's Gordon. And a miss there on the triple. I'm shocked that didn't turn into three points. I mean, he makes you pay on those nearly every time. A nice shot by Carter. Boy, picking up where he left off. His second from distance is half five overall. Gordon with it. And it's Carter picking him up. No good from Caspi. Giles the pass to Lynn. Carter with the three. The basket good off the assist from Lynn. Lynn's got assist number nine now. Wow, what an effort here tonight. Carter against Gordon, and then Gordon with the dunk. Yeah, just a simple one-hand flush. I think he got a few more inches on his vertical by going with the spike. Got that bucket in in no time at all. Carter's got 27. It just seems like the more he touches it, the more the lead grows. Gordon kicks to Caspi. And Vince Carter picks up the foul. That's his first foul. In the corner, it's Gordon. He feeds it to Black, and they turn it over. Stepped in the line that time. Now here's Lynn. Carter with the three, and he's good on the three ball. Carter's got 17 now, just in the second half. That's a dozen straight points coming off the triple. Harden dishes to Gordon. 153 left in the third. Shoots the three. Drills the three-pointer. Gordon's got a pair of threes now here in the third for the Rockets. And this is where it can get a little personal. You got to love seeing this, though, right? Your turn, my turn. They're going at each other. Here's Giles. There's Green with the three. Black grabs the board. Black's got six rebounds in the game. For the Rockets, Mbaamute comes in for Caspi, and Paul subbed in for James Harden. And so here's the home team, Lynn. That one wide left. Pass to Tucker. To the middle. And Chris Paul, the bucket, on the assist from Tucker. And it's 13 points for Chris Paul. And not relying at all on the three-point shot. Uh, they may want to rethink about stretching the defense a bit like they did in that first half. Shot's good by Chi. Feeling it. <laughs> no doubt about it. He's definitely feeling it right now. Shooting a terrific percentage from the field. Gordon finds Bamute. And another three for Houston. I know he's not the most efficient long-range shooter, but Tucker hits enough of those to space out the defense. O'Neal up top. Passes it to Lynn. Here's the three. Trains it from beyond the arc. Lynn's got seven points. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively 
from the triple. Four of their last five makes are from beyond the arc. The shot's good from Paul. And, and guys, when Paul kicks it up a notch, it, it's thrilling to watch. Always in attack mode. Great at looking for his shot and making the deep pay. Here's Chi. He's got 15. Five seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Buries it down low. He's got 17. And, and when you get this kind of shooting from him, 100% from the field, they're going to be tough to beat. Gordon with it. Kicks it to Paul. Shoots over Lynn. And that one hits back iron. And so it's the home team leading by a full 31 points at the end of the quarter. The scoring has been tremendous, and they are shooting lights out with very high accuracy. Back right after this. How about a look at today's State Farm assist of the game? Uh, just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball, and how about the perfect delivery? We call that Greg putting it right in the pocket, and he knew what to do with it once it was there. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today as we get going in quarter number four. Fourth quarter on the court for the Rockets. We've got Nate Walters. Also, Chris Paul out there. E.J. Tucker is out there with Channing Fry, And it's Onuwaku in at the four slot. Here's Walters. Five on the clock. On the mark with the 15-footer. Walters got the fourth quarter started here with a bucket for Houston. Pass to Bacon. Mickey in the post. The shot's good. Exactly the shot they were looking for on that possession. The easy one down low. Hey, get Paul. Now here's Paul. D right on him. Walters passes to Paul. And some nice passing there by Houston. Tucker can't get it to go. Well, they've been better than good on the glass today. And there is a glaring discrepancy between these two teams in that area. I'll tell you, that vertical ability he has puts him in select company in NBA power forwards. May not have great size, but boy, he plays bigger than it. Paul kicks to Walters. Some reports claim, Doris, that basketball is the fastest growing team sport. Do you think it has a chance to overtake football as the most popular sport in the U.S.? Well, listen, anybody who is covering and carrying the games of the NBA is thrilled right now. The ratings for the NBA are off the charts. It increases in popularity every year. But let's remember the foundational sport in the United States of America is football. And the ratings for football, the NFL in particular, still dwarf the NBA. But the reality is there are challenges that the NFL faces. What those challenges have on the long-term business success in terms of, you know, the concussions and the long-term implications, we don't yet know, Kevin. And if we could all fast forward 10 to 15 years into the future, it'll be fascinating to look back and say, wow, this was a seminal moment moment for both sports great perspective now here's Tucker here's Onowaku back to Tucker fires from deep another miss by Houston to the paint it's tipped and O'Neal gets it to go O'Neal's got 20 points and it's been about that execution offensively. I mean, they have been superb. Uh, there's no doubt. I mean, they're making all the right moves. Their chemistry tonight has been phenomenal. A nice shot by Onoaku. I'll tell you, it was the sharp passing that led to that shot. Terrific teamwork. They are enjoying a commanding lead. And it really gives them the opportunity to give their starters a rest. Always critical when you get ready for that home stretch. Goes up with it, Mickey. A strong finish under heavy pressure all over. And that pattern continues, guys. Another heat check, another log on the fire. 
Boy, the opposition has got to feel an avalanche bearing down on them right now. They're wiping them off the floor. Here's Walters. He kicks it to Fry. Here's Onowaku. Got it. Good job in the low post. And a little over three and a half minutes in the books so far here in the fourth. Here's Korkmaz. No good on the triple. And the Rockets with possession here. And here is Paul. Now the pass to Fry. Here's Walters. Pass to Tucker. Houston needs to get a shot off. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Probably no surprise, Doris. Fans would rather watch shots being hit from the field over free throws. So should the league do anything to perhaps cut down on, on trips to the free throw line? You know what, Kevin? I don't know that I necessarily think there need to be fewer trips to the charity stripe. I don't like the hack up player strategy. And I think that we've taken a good first step toward correcting that particular issue. Um, but right now, I like the way the game is played in terms of officiating. My only objection to the way the game is officiated is take away those intentional fouls that are prohibiting fast break basketball. Yeah, good interior D there prevents the deuce. Well, if he wasn't there, that shot's going in. Love the effort on the defensive end. Here's Lou, and that's good. A nice job in the glass as they pick up two on the second effort. Yeah, second chance points. Got to love the way they attack the offensive glass there, even with a huge lead. I'll tell you, Greg, there's no let up in how they play. They want to dominate every aspect, and that includes second chance points. And Nene slams it in. Well, Nene is eating glass on the offensive end. You like to see that aggressiveness. Giles checked in for Mickey, and a change for the Rockets. Black's checked in. On the wing, Green. That three off the mark. They're fortunate to be in front, given how shaky he's been from the floor tonight. Here's Harden. Lays it up and banks it in. Hey, I, I love watching Harden be aggressive inside. One of the most efficient scorers in our game. From the line, shots good by Baines. Didn't have any problem knocking that one down. Another defensive lapse leading to two more. Harden the pass to Black. Nene scanning the floor. The rebound by Giles. Giles has got his fourth rebound in this one. Here's Baines. Nice pass. Nice catch and a resounding dunk. And racing up the court, you have a number of options and a great decision there. I love how he took the initiative, right? You took charge of the opportunity and made the right decision. Now here's Nene. Passes it to Harden. We've seen, Doris, the NBA take a very active role in growing the game internationally. Talk about some of the specifics you've seen in that regard. Well, I think you have a, a great leader at the top in Adam Silver who understands that the game is growing on an international stage. It's becoming increasingly popular. And so you see NBA teams going over and playing regular season games in different countries. That's one particular way. Then you have the NBA CARES initiative, which when those teams are over there, they can go out and build basketball academies. NBA in Africa is a once a year trip and they bring two teams of NBA players. Think about some of the players off of that continent where they have turned into legit stars. So I think it's important that the game continue to develop. And I love that the NBA considers it part of their responsibility. Walters dishes to Black, and he makes that one. Now, how about how he sets his man up there, runs him right into the screen, and then gets the basket? Pass to Baines. Here's Bacon. And not a good shot for him. They can get better looks than that. And here's Houston. Here's Harden on the wing. Bangs home the trifecta. Harden's got 11 in the second half.
And it seems as if someone got their signals crossed if he can wind up that open from three-point range. I'm sure that was not a part of the game plan. Now, here's Green. Here's Baines. Goes back up. Gets it to go. That one good from Giles. I'll tell you, good things always come when you've got players who work hard for second chance opportunities. And Walters kicks to Harden. One twelve left in the game. Count it. How good is that pass? Certainly makes the offensive opportunity easy. Walters gone two or three from the field. Out to the wing. Lou passes to Bacon. Misses the three. Bacon's gone one of three shooting so far. There's the pass to Harden. Over Green. Harden can't hit. 46 seconds left to play here in the fourth. Pass to Giles. Over Nene. He can't get that one, so Houston will take it the other way. Walters passes to Black. No good on the shot. Just tentative in the paint, lacking a little bit of confidence, allowed the defender to recover and contest that shot. Ball stolen. And Harden gets it to go in on the assist by Caspi. Oh, terrific pick. Then kicks it right ahead, turning defense into offense. Oh, yeah, that's perfect in transition, right? He knew exactly what to do after picking that ball off. And Walters kicks to Harden. And so the home crowd treated to a win. And the outcome of this one was never in doubt. And boy, they really put in a supreme effort. Uh, it just felt like once they had that lead and it was comfortable, they were not going to relinquish it. And that about does it for the final game of the NBA regular season. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, and the rest of our terrific crew, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. See you later.